Welcome back, folks, to Scripting for Linguists. In this episode, I have this question for us. Is Rust faster than Python when finding collocates of a node word? Collocates are neighboring words, and a node word is a word that I specify as a target word. So I say, here's a word, go find in this big corpus and find all the words that occur within a five word radius or a 10 word window centered on that node word. And then keep track of how attracted those words are to the node word that I specified. And then return it uh, in a nice list um, using the log dice word association metric. And the question I have here is Rust faster than Python when finding those collocates of a node word that I specify. In a previous video linked to above, and below, I found that Python was quicker than Julia. And I was somewhat surprised that Python was quicker than Julia when finding collocates of a node word. Now, I'm assuming that Rust is going to be faster, right? Rust is a systems level language that is, you know, going to be fast. If you put systems before language, you think it's, you're going to know it's going to be fast, right? So I'm, I'm curious to know my if this is going to be how much faster really is, is rest going to be a lot faster than python um so that is a question as you may know by this point rust is um a newish language that is um centered around the idea of building reliable and efficient software performance down here rust is blazingly fast and memory efficient with no runtime or garbage collector it can power performance critical services Right, it is fast. I am using version 1.78.0 um, in this uh, video. And so, yeah, let's go. So let's take a look. Uh, first, let's look at my Python down here. So this is my Python script. This is the same script from the previous video I mentioned. And it is the exact same script. There's absolutely no difference here. And I'm running one thread right now. And um, so I go to a directory on my hard drive that has almost 40,000 files, text files, and combined, they contain about 230 million words of English. And I'm going to specify the node word episode. It's a podcast uh, corpus. It's about a quarter of the Spotify podcast corpus uh, data set. <clears throat> and I'm specifying the word episode as my node word. And I want to know which words occurred in your episode. Um, so that is that. And I do 10 trials. I do 10 uh, benchmarks doing this um, using the same script I used before. And I don't know that I want to explain it in detail, but I have here a function that gets the collocates of the node word within one file. And I have some helper functions here. Um, and then down in here is where I use some parallel processing. At the moment, I'm just going to do one process. I'm not going to do parallel processing this first time, but I have it written to do parallel processing. And I use the pool object in Python to map this that one function to a big list of the file names. So that's just a logic there. And um, the pathway to the directory is right there. Good. So let's take a look at the results right now. As you might suspect, I already have run it. And let's jump to the top. So just to be clear, I'm using Python version. Let me zoom in quite a bit down at the bottom. I'm using Python uh, version 3.12.3. And I have it print out the collocates, the top collocates. So the word welcome, the word miss, today's. The word episode itself also occurs near episode. I mean, it's repeated within five words of itself often. And podcast. So that's not surprising in a podcast corpus that we get those five words as the most strongly associated with the word episode. At the other end of the scale, at the bottom of the 23,000 collocates, meaning the ones that are least attracted, are these right here. Communicate, degrees, receiver, easiest, quarterback. These words are the least attracted to the word episode in this corpus. Okay, so that's good. I just print those out to make sure I'm getting the same results with each of the runs in both Python and Rust. So that's good. Um, but if you look here, at the results, I did 10 trials, and here are the 10 different times. We have 68 point, well, 70 if we round, no, 69 if we round up there, 69 something, 70, 69, 69, 70, 69, et cetera. We get a mean time of 69.9 and a median time of 69.8 if we round up there. That was just with one thread. Awesome, good. And so let's take a look at my Rust script. 
Now I need to give a shout out to my son, Seth Brown, who is a computer engineering uh, major and he is a Rust master. And he helped me write this. He was sitting next to me and I was writing and I'm learning little by little how to do Rust. Uh, but I must give credit where credit is due to my son, Seth Brown. Anyway, so here is that function that um, works on just one file at a time. I kind of tried to basically write the same type of logic as I did in Python um, here. And so there's merging. These are just some, help, some helper function. There's the log dice function that does the, the word association um, math. It's not, not very hard math, but there it is right there. And then um, we use just one thread of this first, this first iteration. Um, thread is specified down in here. There's our one thread, our 10 trials. And we go through this and um, map this function to the file names. Anyway, so let's take a look at those results. If we jump back up here. Let me jump up here. I'm using uh, Rust version one, like I mentioned previously, version 1.78.0 right there. And we um, see the same results. I'll just real quick double check. We get the same results like these words right here. Welcome, miss today's episode and podcast are the top results. The ones that are most attracted to the word episode is corpus. And the words that are least attracted are communicate, degrees, receiver, easiest, and quarterback. Again, those are the same results we got in Python. Just want to make sure that's the case. And these numbers are the exact same numbers. This is the log dice uh, metric there. Okay, but let's get to our question, which is speed. And let's jump down to the end of this right down in here. We have 34.7, 35.7, 37, 37, 38, 38, 38, etc. So we get a mean of 37.4 and a median of 37.9. Okay, that is a lot quicker. That is more than twice as quick. We had 69 or so in Python. We have 37 here. So not, that's not twice as quick, but it's it's getting it's a right above twice as quick, meaning um, so it's almost twice as quick, I see the way I should say that. Okay, now let's do some parallel processing. Let's go back to Python and say, hey, Python, we want you to use four processes there. And as you might suspect, I already ran this before the video started. We can look at the results if I just jump straight down to the results down in here we go, right in here. Let's make this bigger. So we get 23 seconds, 23, 23, 23. There's a 24 right in there, 24. So we get a mean of 23.7 and a median of 23.8. So that's a lot quicker, going from 69 down to 23. I mean, we are, what is that? Three times quicker using four threads or four processes in Python rather than just one. Awesome, good. Let's go over to Rust and do the same thing. So we're gonna change the number of threads in Rust to four right there. Run it, but I've already done so to um, save time. And we jump to the bottom of our script in Rust. We end up with times of 13.7 if we round up, 13.9 if we round up. 14, 14, 14, bunch of 14s, there's another 13, etc. So our Rust mean with four threads is 14.2, and our median is 14.2 as well. Okay, that's a lot quicker, right? So if we take a look over here, let's put those numbers into a nice little spreadsheet, which I've already done. Here was Here's our mean, let's look at row two for a second. That's Python with one thread, we had a mean of 69.9 and median of, of that nearly that same time. There are a few outliers, so the mean and median are right next to each other. And if we call that our baseline, we'll call Python our baseline. Then we look at Rust with just one thread. We had times of 37.4, uh, right around 37.4 uh, to 0.9 there. And so that is only 0.54, the ratio of Python. That is, it took Rust only 54% of the time that it took Python to do this task with just one thread or one process in Rust and one thread in, excuse me, one process in Python, one thread in Rust. And when we bumped it up to four processes in Python and four threads in Rust, we saw these times right there, 23.7 and 14.2. 
again, if we take Python as our baseline at, at 1.0, it took Rust 0.6 the amount of time. That is only 60% of the amount of time that it took Python to do this. So there you go. Yeah, to answer this question, is Python faster than, excuse me, is Rust, Pyth is Rust faster than Python when finding collocates of a node word? Yes, it is, as we hypothesized. And how much faster? Well, about it only took about 54 to 60% of the time um, that it took Python, meaning Rust was nearly twice as fast as Python, um, either with a, a single thread or even with four threads, um, the, or Rust was, was quicker, was about twice as quick, getting up nearly twice as fast as Python with this task of finding um, collocates of the node word. So there you go. I will leave links to these two scripts, to my Rust script, again, highly helped by my son, and my Python script in the description of this video. And you can subscribe to my channel over here, and you can view more videos in this playlist over there. So there you go. Again, as suspected, Rust is the bad boy and is fast. And we suspected that, and I just was curious to know how fast was it. And we see it's about twice as fast again, as Python with this particular task in, in corpus linguistic methodology. Thanks. See you next time.